Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to learn about XSLT for each loop. How we can implement XSLT for each loop and how it's working, everything we will learn in this video. So if you have not watched previous video where we have discussed about XSLT different different functions like if condition, choose, when, etc. So just go and you can watch that one. So let's begin. So before going to a start, let me explain the requirement. So here you can see I have already created a request payload. So if you will see this request payload consists array element that you can see that payload name is employee data and that employee data node contains multiple records. That's the array record of the employee details or we can say employee details. So now here you can see what we have to do is that we have to implement for each loop where we will map these values same as response in 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 a loop for loop so you can see whatever data we are getting in the request payload in our array format so whenever we are saying that array format we are, have to return data in array format it means we have to run the loop we have to iterate the loop for each and every array element so this is the array element right so here you can see what kind of response we are going to get we are going to get a response in such a way that the whatever number of element we have in the request payload the same number of response we will get and the difference is that here we have five record columns and here we are going to in response we are going to return back four columns so in the last two columns i removed from the from the request payload and added one column as a status so just for demonstration purpose of that for each loop i am going to implement this one so how we are going to iterate array records or that multiple rec uh, multiple records in Oracle integration while in inside the mapping, we will learn here. So let's begin. So here I have already created one integration. I will make a clone of that integration. And once we are going to clone the integration, we need to provide new names. I will give the name as for each loop integration 01 and done. So why I'm going to clone so each and every time I don't need to uh, add the rest endpoint to configure request and response payload. So I have already added the rest endpoint. So now what we need to do is that we need to configure this request payload and the response payload so that we can provide the mapping. So here let me copy this request payload and the same request payload I will provide here in the mapping. So here this is the basic page, basic info page. And once go next, this is the details. And here you can see in details page, I have already configured request and the response. So I will go to next. And here you can see in the request, we have option to provide the request payload. So I will click here and I will provide the request payload. So now everything is fine. Just click OK. And now next, I have to provide the response payload. You can see we are in the response tab. So response payload, what kind of response we want to return? I want to return this kind of response. Its response is also in array. So you can see this symbol denote that array element and this is the array element, right? So now I have already make a copy of that. So I will in inline, I will paste the, the payload. So just click OK, next and done. So remember, whenever we are going to edit the trigger and point, we are getting error. The error because of that, the the business identifier for removing this error first we need to go here and we need to add the business identifier so i will select request payload value as a business identifier you can choose whatever you want based on your requirement i know so that's done i will click save click outside so you can see that one error is resolved you can see mapping and now error is related to mapping only as this was the previous integration so there was different mapping based on the request and response period. So I, you can see the result. So I will just delete all the target node. So now you can see we have this response payload, response wrapper. Inside the response wrapper, we have employee response data. Inside that, we have all the nodes. So what is this employee response data? You can see this is the employee response data, response, response payloads node, right? So now here you can see this denote that the array element and the same request payload we have the array element so by default whenever we are going to map this array element with array element internally oracle integration created for each loop right so how we can process if you will see right now here you can see i once i click on XSLT functions here you can see inside the response wrapper here we don't have anything right you can see we don't have anything once i will click here 
even in the accessibility function you can see this is the for each loop so right now we don't have anything here once i will drag this employee data with this employee data automatically for each will be created you can see this is the for each accessibility functions created now what we need to do we map this array data automatically for each created now we have to map the values whatever values we want to provide so i will provide this name dob and the domain and the status what is status we need to provide so let for example i am just going to provide the hard coded value for a status so just like employee created so here i am going to provide the employee created now done so here you can see whenever we are mapping array element to array element by default for each created once i will go to validate and if i will move for testing you can see the whatever number of data we will provide the same will come in the response so here let me go to the testing and here we have to generate the simple test case so i will click here it will generate simple value you can see name this is the simple values this two records so let me make this three let me here i have added four records so seven four eight nine and let me add a ten so we have four record once i will click on this test the four record will be written back as a response here you can see we have in response we have four records that 1704 1708 1709 and 10 and a status you can see the employee created so here we learn that whenever we are going to map array element with array element by default for each created so let me do one thing let me remove this delete the target node so here you can see what we have done we have deleted the target node right now we don't have any loop here again we have to map the value so whatever thing we map with array with array the same thing we can do by dragging this for each loop so here we know that whenever we are going to uh, add the accessibility functions the first we need to create the target node so here right now this is the node but this node is not created as target node. so i will select this node and will create a create target node so this target node is created now we can drag this for each here so once i will drag for each here you can see the for each is added here and the same as this is the array element so i will map this array element with for each loop so you can see the for each is added with the array element now we have to map the simple values again to dob domain and the status again i will provide the any hard coded value so hard coded value something like employee created in the system something like that and now let me save so here you can see we have done with the similar type of mapping now if we will go for testing we'll click here and here we have already generated sample test values so i will use the same so first here let me remove this one so again i will go for generating the test cases so here again if suppose let me this time add three values only instead of 23 27 29 and if i will click here for test you can see it will generate three reason value with the same you can see so this is the simple integration where i i discuss and i told you that how we can add the accessibility for each loop and how accessibility for each loop is working behind the mapping so if we are not going to add accessibility functions how it will work so everything i have discussed in this video only you can see once i remove this accessibility option you can see the the for loop will remove once i will click here internally it will show you the for each loop you can see so this is the simple integration thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that and don't forget to subscribe this channel and if you like this video helpful please like this video and share this video with your colleague and in your whatsapp group telegram group somewhere you can share with thank you so much again for watching